It's my life. Chapter 1. Return to Portal and a super huge surprise. Ian. Hi guys, this is my first story. It's what I think happens in Portal 3. Hi. My name is Marissa Roberts, and I was doing tests with that other girl, Chell, but she escaped. GLaDOS had captured me in the science lab places and made me do bad tests. There was no thing fun about the tests, and Glouds would never let me sleep, or eat, or bathroom, or anything. For the next test, you will work with robots, GLaDOS screamed to me. Some robots came out of weird tubes and looked at me, and, and I looked at them. The robos were one a blue ball, and the other was an orange line thing. Their names are Altus and P-Boy. Now leave me alone, I'm sad. Then GLaDOS started to listen to some Avril Lavigne music and cry. Ever since she realized she was a humming before she became a goth emo, and was always getting on my nerves. Hi, B asterisk 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 asterisk. We are here to test you. Atlas shrugged. Get it? It's a movie. <laughs> no, I was shocked at the bad words and glared to Altus. Peabod was just staring at my bobs, so I kicked him. His robot place. That made him angry, so he shot a portal at me and made me fall into it over and over, and Peebo and Altus were lolling at me. Altus took out some drugs, and he and Peebo started to smoke them! I was fed up with all of Portal Labs and jumped from to portals. I ladled onto my lungfall boots and glared mean at Altus and Peebo. I was... I was so mad at those jerks for portaling me and calling me a B asterisk 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 asterisk. And not even gonna say that word. Oh! So I portaled them too, and I saw how they like it, and they did ant. Altus angered at me, and P Boy said, Y'all broke dog drugs! Now you will pay! And he punched me right in the face. I started crying from all the pain, and those jerks just lolled at me and tried to beat me up some more with, with their portal guns. Serial hours later, I was crying in a pool of blood, while those jerk robots did more drugs and drank beer and passed out. All I wanted was my companion, Coop, to comfort me. But GLaDOS was making it do other tests, and we didn't see each other in moths. But most of all, I wanted Whitley. He was the only nice robot I ever met, and he had a super sexy British accent. But GLaDOS' body turned him evil, and he got shot in space by jail. I rubbed my stomach and remembered my secret. No one knows this, but Wheatley and I shared what goddamn it she's fucking pregnant, isn't she? Wheatley impregnated her. Oh my fucking god. Alright, let's just keep going. But Wheatley and I shared one secret night together. And now I could tell I was pregnant with his robot bull slash human baby. It was human intuition. I didn't need a doctor. I just knew that I was pregnant with this robot's fucking baby. There was a window above me and I looked out and saw the moon where Wheatley was. I missed him so much like a guy I missed a bunch. Truly. Those are words of inspiration. If I missed a guy like a guy I missed a bunch, I would definitely miss him a lot. Tears drooped front. <laughs> oh me. Tears drooped down from my face, so Altus and P-Boy started lolling at me again and calling me names like Fat Uguli B asterisk 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 asterisk. I stared right at their laughing feces and said my first words. I'm FT, you guys are so rude. I hate you. And I ran off holding my portal gun in one hand and holding nothing in my other hand because it was empty. My hair was streaming behind me and all the robots were saying how pretty and hot I was. So I yelled at them too and said a lot of cusses. So they stopped yelling at me. Why can't I just be a normal girl, go to high school, and have a boyfriend that isn't space lost? Jesus, it's like there's a fucking apocalypse outside and I'm trapped in some kind of fucking science lab. What is this shit? Oh my god. I cried and hugged the place where the baby was going to be was. There was a strange noise coming from the next room, and I looked in a, a saw. GLaDOS was cutting herself. Shell, I'm so sorry. I never told you your sister's name is really Marissa, blah, 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 Roberts, and she has special powers and can save the world if she believes. Of, of course. Then robot blood started going everywhere, and I realized that GLaDOS had suicided one, 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 one. That was a whole lot of twists. If I get some good reviews, it'll make more chapters. Maybe Wheatley will come back, and is GLaDOS really suicided? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. It's not Dragon Ball Z, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's my life. Oh god. Chapter 2. GLaDOS. Suicided? Glouds was dead and I was Shell's sister. I o-mouthed at the sh- <laughs>
<laughs> I just <laughs> I o mouthed. Oh God, <laughs> the shock. From all the revelation, if only GLaDOS hadn't suicided, maybe she would- maybe she could give me the down low- God damn it. But I didn't know two things. One, I had to find Shell, and tell her the big nudes. And two, what happened to Wheatley? I had to find out. Judson, Adalis, and Peaboy came into room looking even madder than Beefour. You're gonna play now, you dumb b asterisk 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 shouted P-Boy while Altus lolled and wrote mean things on my Facebook. Like a certain other someone! I held one hand tight to my portal gun and got ready to fight them when a strange feeling came over me. It was all matrixy and slow-mo, but also like electric. I could see all the sparks and wires and things and the robots. Power up! I yelled for some reason, I didn't know why, and the ro- oh, too, oh, Okay, this- This is actually Dragon Ball Z, I'm sorry. Um, I lied? She's shouting the name of a power and then using a magic shower. Okay. This is now Dragon Ball Z. God damn it. <laughs> power of I yelled for some reason, and I didn't know why and the two robots went dead. Electric lightning came through my skin and eyes and mouth and everywhere, but I was not shocked. That's called Super Saiyan, Marissa. Some of Tibolt's hit at GLaDOS and she became a life again. You star my suicided, Marissa Roberts. That was not Nissy. Gladys angered loud and started cutting herself to make a new dad. I just locked at me hands where little lightning bolts was still happening and thought, What is going on? Obviously, this is now Bioshock or Dragon Ball Z. Gladys, tell me with some nice exposition. Gladys, all the sparks and o mouthed. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a very regularly used word, isn't it? God damn it. Your powers, they are manifesting. You must fund the shell. I was so confused and angry for GLaDOS. No telling me I had special powers. I could have used them to solve tests. But I did want to meet Chiel and let her know we're sisters and I have a cool robot powers. I'll explain everything later. First, you must get to shell. She is in space looking for Whitley. I o mouthed. God damn it. Shell knew all. <laughs> Shell. <laughs> This is gonna get me every fucking time, isn't it? Knew how ought space flight and was safe in Wheatley? I was so happy, but now, but, but did it know how to go space? But how can I space? GLaDOS Lolden said, You have more powers than you'll ever know, but no one, but, but one space flying brethren. This was so shocking. <laughs> like her powers. I thought hard about flying, and suddenly rocks came out of my feet, and I started to fly up past the portal labs and into space. This is also Teen Titans. When I got to the moon, I looked Froshell and Wheatley. I started, <laughs> because it's in space where there are stars, looking behind asteroids and space junk, but they wasn't there. Then I remembered, in space no one can hear you scream, so I couldn't hear them, unless maybe I have another special power. I thought hard to try and listen when I heard, when I heard something. It was Wheatley. It bloody sword, so a uh, god save the queen. Shell was there and she was beating him up and Wheatley was all broken looking. My heart fell, but the sight of my true love gave me more power and I flew towards him. Shall stop hurting Wheatley! I begged to her. Shell looked right at me with a lot of hatred and some sad, too, and said, I o mouthed again at the revelation. Shell knew we were sisters the whole time, but Gladys said she didn't tell her. That was when I realized it was a trap. Help me, Mulisys! Blow you boogies! Try to wank me! Wheatley pleaded as Shell kept beating him up. You're not Shell, you're Gladys! I screamed at Shell. I screamed and at Shell got a oh shit look on her feces. I punched fat Shell in her face and the skin ripped off to show that she was a robot like the Terminator, but instead of Terminator it was GLaDOS. Why did you trick me? I wanted revenge for you stopping me from suiciding. GLaDOS robot screamed, but before I could get my revenge of GLaDOS, Wheatley yelled out real loud, Blow yell! It's a sorting asteroid headed straight towards us! I looked and saw the asteroid. It was about to hit us when... To be continued! How did I survive that? Where's all the powers coming from? Find out in Chapter 3 with even more intense action. Thank you for watching. Please check out my other videos. They're also things.